What is poppin' people? It's your boy Mikey JTV in the mother effing place to be. And today we have another Genshin Impact video for you. Um, I know you guys really, really like the uh the character builds and the breakdowns, but I think it's a little bit biased when I do them. So I think this little guide here will help you kind of understand like where I'm coming from with the builds that I go forward with. Um I just hit uh, adventure rank 30. I just hit adventure rank 30. So that means once you hit adventure rank 30, that means your uh, world goes up. So the first time your world ascension happened, you had to go through a trial. This time it happens automatically when you reach level 30. So my world level went up and everything is just a little bit, I'm not even gonna say a little bit harder, but um, the reason why it's not so hard is because of what I did and where I'm at with my uh, with my units uh, before or you know after you hit level 30, where you should be. So this 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 video is basically a a checkpoint, uh, so to speak, as to where your um, where your account should be, how you should be handling mobs and all that kind of stuff. So um, let's go ahead and look at our team our our team first. So. And like I said, from the beginning, you want to have yourself a core team. And as of today, Barbara did get her, not Barbara, uh, Mona just got her, um, her, her, her damage patched. Um, so I think the problem with her, it wasn't the same thing as Kachin. Um, the, the thing with Barbara was when she did her ult, ah, I keep saying Barbara, Mona, <laughs> when Mona did her ult, she would trap everybody in the little water vortex, but it would only up the the big damage would only apply to one person. So that's why you would only see um, Mona do like maybe I want to say back then I was using her. She was like level 35. Um, she probably did like 700 damage or something like that. Now she's hitting for over for around 2000 um, when she does her ult. It's it's extremely, extremely good ult when you match it, when you when you uh, pair it with Venti. It's oh man, it's 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 actually great. It's it's really 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 great, and I'm I'll probably showcase that when I actually do her specific uh, Mona 2.0 video. So um, what I want to basically when you're looking at this, this is where you're gonna want to be. Um, your three, I guess you're gonna have your healer. Really not important to have your healer at level 50. I mean you can obviously. It's not it's not a it's not a, it's not mandatory, but your main healer, you probably want to be at around level 40 because your healer, you know, your, your healer is poking in, doing some, a little bit of damage, but the main thing they're doing is healing and that's what they're good for. Um, this here, this guy's my main DPS, like every, everything these two do, they set up for him, for him to come in and get the big damage. So. Um, I focus on him the most. He was my first level 50 character. Um, as soon as I saw the damage he could do at level 40 and the artifacts that I put on him, I was like, yes, this is the guy that I want to have support around. And it's it's very important that you build your team around a, um, a DPS, a, a, song, a strong, solid DPS. So um, I have Fischl here as well, level 50. She does some decent amount of DPS, but she really is actually fulfilling her support role. Um, for a long time, I was actually using her as my main DPS because she was just outputting the most damage until I pulled Razor. Um, but uh, so Fischl's main role right now is to call out the bird, get some like nice pew pew shots off, and then uh, I'll switch to Mona and get the um, the linking going. So when she gets everybody wet, the bird's still out, still shocking. And then I'll switch into Razor and I'll do his um, his AOE, his AOE skill. And then I'll transform into the wolf and he just mops the floor with everybody. Now, that's the kind of strategy that you're going to want to have at, at this at this point in time when you reach like rank 30, because this is more, it's not really like a hack and slash game. It's, there's a lot of strategy that goes into um, Genshin Impact, believe it or not. <laughs> but um, let's go ahead and look at Mona. Let's look at her um, her artifacts. I wanna break down artifacts now. Um, by this time, you're going to want to have at least two 
I want to say at least two. And I'm very, I'm, I, yo, uh, full disclosure, I'm lowballing all of these stats. Like, low, I'm, well, not stats, I'm lowballing these requirements. Obviously, you can have, you know, everything maxed out or anything like this, but like, this is the checkpoint where you want to be at. So you want to have at least one or two. I want to say one or two. One or two full attack maxed artifacts. So always want to go for uh, attack uh, percent for anything. Like if you see attack percent on, um, let me see this. Obviously you'll, uh, you'll have, um, this is flat attack. The feathers will always be flat attack. But if you have attack percent, in your sub stats, obviously you're going to want to rank that up. But when you get something like this, always, 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 always level that up. Level that up first. Um, get your, uh, I gave her hydro damage bonus on here. Um, obviously that could go for um, attack percent as well. All that good stuff. And um, for your helmet, I do have um, HP. I think you can find an attack percent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you can find an attack percent one. Um, but I kind of wanted to go with the set on her. So she's got full berserk um, and she does a phenomenal job with it. Um, but yeah, you want to have at least at least one that's fully maxed out and at least a four star five star. Great. You're, you're doing very well for yourself. Um, let me see. Let's let's look at Let's look at like my main DPS here. Okay, let's look at Razor real quick. And let's look at his artifacts because yeah, this one right here, he has attack and he also has a 3.7, but elemental mastery, that's the one that actually got the jump in the, uh, um, what do you call that? When you level it up, some of these get a jump. And this is the one that got a jump. Elemental mastery is a great, uh, Elemental Mastery is a great substat or just a stat in general because it basically amplifies the, the, the damage and the potency of your element status. So really, really good. Really, really good. I don't have a complete set on him. I was really just going for max damage, max everything. Uh, so his, his sets aren't really complete. I only have one Berserker set on here. So everything else is gone to uh, damage. So yeah, see, cause my, my Berserker Goblet is max attack. If I can, if I can get a four star Berserker Goblet, that's got, um, you know, a main, main percent attack stat. I definitely swap that out for that. So this is the kind of build that you want to go for. So I really didn't have any so when I level this up, it's going to get 23 extra attack percent. And honestly, as of right now, he doesn't need it because he's he, he's really, really, really decent. So um, I think he his normal hits hit for like four to five hundred each. And his um, when he's powered up and he's getting all those debuffs and he's getting his elementals off. Um, What is it? I would dare say 14, 15, 1500. It's is his damage is absolutely nutty. Um, I'm going to showcase him after I do Mona 2.0, just to see if she is a little bit better than, you know, what she was. Um, obviously since she's level 50, I really can't directly compare the damage, but she's, she's okay. But we'll, we'll, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Um, but yes, uh, so at as of adventure rank 30, there are some what? things you leave, you call that you can do to, you know, alleviate some of the money issues. Uh, a resin, resin's a whole beast by itself. So I'm not going to talk about resin and, and the things that you should be doing. Um, personally, uh, if we look at my quests, uh, where's my quest, 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 there we go. Um, if we look at my quest, I still have not done the, le the level 29 story missions. I, as, as a content creator, I kind of just want to do those on stream. So I haven't, I haven't touched those, but as far as story quests, they should be, uh, obviously they should be done. Um, it gives you a good amount of adventure rank XP. Um, 
and then as i've said before in my rank up fast video do your dailies always be doing something so in the meantime when i'm waiting to stream i'm exploring like there's a lot to explore in this game even if all of your waypoints are are um are collected there's always going to be some geoculus or animoculus that you can get um and if you if you've got all those great <laughs> that's awesome but this video is really tailored to the people who kind of stuck don't know what to do and um uh as your stamina your your animoculus and geoculus thing it should it should at least be at 200 it should at least be at 200 um this little bar right here should be all all the way full to the the second rung so if you haven't done any of that you've definitely got a lot more to do than you think so um in conclusion in conclusion to the video uh i, I just want to say by rank level 30 you should have at least three at, at least two i'm gonna lowball it at least two uh level 50 ascended characters your healer should be at 40 your uh stamina should be at least 200 that means it's two full bars um you should have oh i didn't even talk about talk about weapons wait a minute let's talk weapons um weapons you should at least have a four star by now you should be able to craft the um the prototype right now i would say this is doing very well for me um it's only ascended once so i could probably if i get the materials i can definitely ascend it again um but this is working fine uh you definitely want to at least have a four star on your main damage dealer to um you know just just to have that thing uh for this particular you know user claymore you can have the prototype animus this is a good looking sword wait a minute i like the way that looks yo that's kind of nice i may level that up and put it on him because that's that additional 240 percent attack is going to be crazy wait a minute i didn't even yo I digress but <laughs> by this time you should definitely be able to uh craft weapons at the blacksmith and you should be able to you know get a, at least a good weapon if your pulls have been that abysmal to where you can't get a four star unit for a four star weapon for your uh dps unit so anyway um obviously weapons should be the first ascension definitely you're doing great if you're on the th on the second um try to get as many refined weapons as you can because that's always great um but yeah i think that is about it if i did miss anything please go ahead and put it down in the comment section below if you have a nice build suggestion go ahead and put that down in the comment section below as well um let's like say i always stream the story mode and i try to get through the spiral abyss on stream uh if you guys want to go ahead and follow me at uh, mikey jtv on twitch and uh yeah i think that'll be it for the video guys thank you so much for you know staying up until here <laughs> but i'm gonna get up on out of here it's been your boy mikey jtv and the mother that plays the beans always guys peace